when you start talking about the power of belief. You have to hold on to that positive mindset when things are going south. No matter who you are, no matter how much money you come from, training you've had, you are still gonna face adversity when you are trying to reach your full potential. In those moments, holding fast with your belief in yourself and in the mission that you're on, that's critical. I was someone who very naturally was drawn to service. I loved that sense of daily pressure that you needed to perform. And so West Point had that. September 11th took place. That was the start of my senior year. And so military intelligence was the topic of so much conversation. I said, that's what I want to do next. We ended up deploying out to Iraq 2004. Got home in 2005. I ended up then going to the advanced course for captains. I fought hard to get to a special forces unit and said, I want to go serve in support of Green Berets. Five and a half weeks later, I was out the door to Afghanistan. As the intelligence team, you have to take chances and make risks. And sometimes you're going to be wrong. But when it's people's lives, those kinds of things have a certain level of finality that will sit with you if you get it wrong. 2009, Green Berets in our Special Forces unit were lost in a homemade improvised explosive device. I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. That was hard. You know, that was really hard for my team. I would say of all my military career where I had the most sense of self-doubt, how did my team miss that picture? Ultimately, at the end of the day, the team on the ground, they're the ones, you know, who pay the price for when we get it wrong. And if you're in the arena, inevitably, you're gonna make mistakes. It's really about how you bounce back and respond to it. Do you allow that doubt to just ruminate or do you work through it and then push it out? That just drove me and my team to push harder and say, hey, this is not gonna define how we finish out this rotation. And then the next four months, we had arguably like one of the most successful stretches of any rotation in anyone in Afghanistan. I briefed congressmen and senators and all these different high profile people, at the time, the largest NATO led combat operation in history came back and there was very little time to process what had just unfolded in Afghanistan. It was very disorienting, feeling like a fish out of water. It's that loss of identity. You put the uniform on, you see that person staring back at you and you have a clear sense of identity and purpose. So that goes away when you leave the military. I would see some of my soldiers who had left the military and I saw that a lot of them were struggling. They need to know that someone in their post-military life cares about them. Say, hey, let's do this together. I discovered the power of physical activity in the group setting to unpack a lot of what I've gone through in the past seven years, and I missed that. That's how we started to uh, develop and build out the mission of Team Red, White, and Blue. We need to build a team where people can belong to, whether they're a veteran or they're someone who's not served in the military who wants to support them. We want to enrich your life through physical activity to improve your physical, mental, and your emotional health. Trying to challenge veterans to realize that their best days are ahead of them. And now we're north of 230,000 members, 200 chapters across the country, and we continue to grow. We all as people are, like, are a river. And we have all these tributaries that kind of come into and help to make us who we are. And the organizations that we choose to get involved with, all of it really is kind of helping to build up that river. So it's the process of setting the goals that really matters. Whatever your goal is, you set it. And when you accomplish that goal, that creates a sense of pride, a sense of enthusiasm within you that continues to bring into the surface the power of setting goals and knocking them down. It doesn't stop there, it's a ripple effect. And it will carry out into so many different chapters and corners of their life. I have found that mindset, that approach, to be essential, the power of belief. I think that that's the real magic of life.